Okay, this is Lair of the Clockwork God. And this is a game developed by the developers of Ben There, Dan That. Who, uh, I played their, uh, played their, uh, played that game a while ago on the channel, a long while ago, in the before time. Uh, let me know if the sound is okay uh, in chat, would you please? And, uh, yeah, so this is a hybrid uh, platformer point-and-click adventure. So the, the conceit is that these two characters, one of them wanted to be, uh, like, an indie platformer, and one of them wanted to do point-and-click adventures. So they thought, let's do both. That's ruined London in the background. No, it usually looks like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's begin experience. Okay, I'm experiencing. So I'm. it looks like it is mouse controlled, at least the menu is. Because I'm wondering about that. Like, is it going to be mouse controlled because it's a point and click adventure or controller controlled because it's a platformer? Maybe both. Maybe we need to switch. Let's get into it. Yay. I hate this already. I'm not doing any platforming. We've talked about this, Ben. Pointing and clicking is dead. It's these trendy platformer kids are in now and we need to stay relevant. I'm going to be an indie darling platformer instead. You prance around all like all you like, Dan. I'm going to stick with my using my brain and my hands, and sometimes my mouth. So then, which super villain are you going to defeat with your amazing new jumping skills? I don't know why I'm giving him this voice. Actually, we're looking for a flower. What? This isn't one of your wacky adventures, Ben. It's a poignant quest. This is a rare and most likely metaphorical flower that cures cancer. Oh dear. You can't get even. What? Wait, uh huh. Once we find this flower, presumably we find a wacky florist. Sw swap it for a more useful item. <laughs> no, we used it to cure our friend Matthew. He has a particularly unpleasant case of colon cancer. He needs our help. Oh my god. It's already really relevant and modern. Bloody hell. Right, we've done enough of your old fashioned talking already. I'm going on ahead. Have fun with your brain. Uh, you wait there and I'll run ahead and call, call you if you need your help. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, d I didn't realise this game was going to be promoting bad, uh, uh, bogus cancer cures. That's not, uh, that's not what I signed up for. So, pretty standard, uh, ooh, oh, look at that. We stand near this Xbox and, uh, a platform goes up. I guess we'll need that for, uh, Dan or Ben. I always forget which is which. Fiddlesticks! This lever is too small and nimble for my colossal hands. Alright, maybe I need your help already. Okay. LB to switch, okay. Alright, here we go. Look, I've got... Hey, Dan! Which Matt is this with cancer anyway? Matt F? No, no, no. Matt C. Hmm, shame. I like Matt C way more. <gasps> Don't be so callous. Be thoughtful and considerate, remember? There we go. This game's easy. Okay, so that's Dan. Wait. Dan is the platformy boy. Okay. It's the Lost Vikings, sort of. Yeah, kinda. Uh, oh, okay. Can I use the mouse for this part? Uh, no. Oddly, I can't use the mouse. What kind of point and click game doesn't let you use the mouse? Uh, okay. Let's see, uh... Wait, how does this work? Use. Oh, I've got to use the thumbstick. Okay, there we go. Use. Use. All oh, right, and you let go to do it. Okay. The hell is this floaty monolith thingy? Checkpoints. When we die, we respawn back at the last checkpoint we crossed. Standard platforming procedure. Death is now consequence free, bar of being a mild inconvenience. Hang on, why can't Matt C just respawn then? <laughs> How come he's all pathos and heartstrings? Because he's not a player character. He's not a platformer, it's different. There you go. How dissonant. What's death like anyway? Oh, just a cold dark void with no concept of time or space basically. Yikes. No wonder platformers are so emo if they have to go through that every two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, back to it. Might be able to make it across if we work together. 
Who's this guy? Uh, I guess we need. Uh, yeah, talking to people is. Um, is uh, I've forgotten his name again. Whichever one. <laughs> the fourth wall is but a suggestion. Yes. Uh, wait. Why am I so stupid with the controls? Okay, there we go. Hey! You there, hippie! <laughs> you look a bit cluttered for a platformer. Okay, good. Oh, wait. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the not talky to button. Hey! You there, hippie. I'm doing the di dialogue tree again. A bit cluttered. Yeah, what I said. Thanks for the constructive feedback, but I'm actually an indie developer. Oh no, not one of them. My name is Tarquin. I am the highest form of artistic creative imaginable. Look at my beard. And you are? Uh, Ben. I'm from Point and Clicks. Oh, charming. I remember those. From back in the olden days. Like my father used to play. Ouch. Uh-huh. What's the dev doing out here on the front lines? Great question. I'm doing research for my next game. This is too, too real. <laughs> Apparently there's a thematically potent flower around here somewhere. They say it has the power to cure cancer. Again, I'm going to use it as inspiration for my next interactive narrative experience. No chance, Buster. We want that flower. Sounds like a worthy quest. And Dan's all about that worthy shit now. A rival project, eh? Well, I certainly welcome healthy competition. Good luck getting over these impossible spikes, though. That's impossible. Huh. Uh, what's your game about? It's a dissection of loss due to cancer. It is an engaging perspective mechanic. Where objects can change size depending on Z-axis value. And it's going to star me as the protagonist. It's a bit narcissistic, don't you think? <laughs> Interesting opinion. But I like to think autobiographical games are super innovative. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, this 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 game is made by two guys called Ban Dan no Ban and Den no Dan and Ben, and they put themselves in the game. They're not exactly like these characters, as far as I know. Um, why do you talk so weird? <laughs> I'm worried you might write a negative Steam review. <laughs> uh, yeah, is he gonna get moving or what? I can't see through your massive beard. Well, full disclosure, I'm struggling to get over this pit of spikes. I'm developing a walking simulator, not a jumping simulator. <laughs> Back to work, you lazy dev. Hey, hey. Okie dokie, have a productive day. <laughs> Look, I just, I just, I just stopped doing game dev streams, and already the game is giving me shit about it through this meta-contextual thing of stuff. Um, Okay, so obviously I can't jump across that. Uh, hmm. I'm already stuck. Shit game. <laughs> uh, can I talk to Dan? Let's look at. Oh, we can look at things. Hey, it's Dan. Let's talk to Dan. Yeah. What are we doing here? I'm trying to find a flower that cures cancer. And we're going to do that mainly by climbing and jumping. Ugh, climbing and jumping. Like those Johnny Come Lately indie hipster platformer guys. You only graduated from sidekick to co-adventure a little while ago. <laughs> and now you want to sell out already? It's not selling out, it's keeping up with the times. Kids love platformers, Ben. They work in metaphors and speak to the human condition. Really? It's all very modern and sophisticated. I cried when Johnny come lately successfully negotiated with childhood demon. <laughs> Let me guess, he did that by jumping around a lot. Exactly. <laughs> they they love criticizing their own genres, don't they? <laughs> just, yeah. Knowing these pretentious platformers you love so much. I bet Matt won't even want his cat. Whoa, what the hell? This is dark. It'll turn out we're being terribly presumptuous or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be clever. I don't know. I think there's some platformers that have, like, um, you know, I think uh, Celeste has quite a 
quite an emotional storyline. Um, Dust and Elysian Tale did as well. I played that. Um, the uh, Wonder Boy, the Dragon's Trap definitely didn't, <laughs> but you know. Uh, I'm not going to let your platforming cramp my adventuring style, <laughs> by the way. Well, good. I'm going to talk to everyone, examine everything, and pick up as much stuff as I can. That's the spirit. You tell him, Dan or Ben, or whichever one you are. Without fear of getting killed or stuck in a dead end. Yeah. Hey, us platformers don't worry about that stuff either these days. I'm supposed to just experiment and see what happens. Yeah. It's the spice of life. And if you happen to make me some kind of upgrade to improve my platforming abilities, like, I don't know, a shrinking device made with washing machine parts and a radioactive telescope, <laughs> then all the better. Interact with as much stuff as you like without worrying you'll muck stuff up, is what I'm saying. Within acceptable ethical boundaries, of course. Oh, of course. Why then? This would be different the game if they went for a shooter instead of jump and run. Yeah, that's true. There's not a lot of ethical considerations in a shooter. It's just kill everyone! Okay. Let's see. What are we... Uh... Ooh. Oh! Oh! Look! You can look at things. Uh... It's a power source. Hmm. I'd be able to access it if I had something to stand on. Then I could use my inventory items on it. What are your inventory items? Look at this. Yeesh, they look sharp. Fortunately, I'm quite safe, thanks to my policy of refusing to step off ledges. Ah, interesting. It's like the opposite of the lemmings. <laughs> Let's find out. I'm not walking off the edge of this ledge. I'm an adventurer. I'm not accustomed to gravity. Yeah. <laughs> That's clever. Yeah. If, there's any, if we miss anything, an interesting item we need to... No, probably not. I find this type of humor works better in small quantities if you're not swamped with it. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of the game will be uh, just, um, you know, the puzzling and the platforming. We'll see. Can I, like, punch or anything? The other buttons don't do anything. I can look as well. <laughs> just rotate my head for all the good it's worth. Uh, hmm. How can I be already stuck? Uh, I must have something in my inventory. Let's see. No, 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 no. It's not a Sierra Adventure game then. Yeah, if it was a Sierra Adventure game, you'd be dead by now. Four times over. Uh... Oh, oh, here we go. Bladder. Ben's handy internal liquid carrying device. Oh, okay. It's a metaphysical representation of my urinary bladder. Which I actually keep somewhere between my kidneys and my John Thomas. Amazing. My bladder is pleasantly full to bursting at this moment in time. Look at him grin about that. Okay. Uh, what? Why? Combine with nothing. No. That's weird. You have to, uh, this game is going to have me pissing on something, isn't it? Okay. Um, so that's my inventory. Is my bladder. I don't know what to do. I'm genuinely stuck already. How is this possible? Any ideas, anyone? I bring you greetings from your allies in the Klingon Empire. Hello, Amy Borg. Welcome. We're just getting started and I'm already stuck. Oh, I, yeah, I, that was foolish. Um, so this is a... Maybe piss on the power source. Yeah, good idea, good idea. Yes, don't whiz on the electric fence. Right, of course. Uh, how do I do that, though? It just lets me look at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, how do I skip dialogue? Oh, I see. It says there, yeah. Hold to interact. See, hmm. It's just, it's just talking. Broccoli Donut, hello. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? This is, uh... My first time playing this hybrid platformer and point like adventure, and I'm already stuck because I'm stupid. Is it mirrors that grey slab you're standing on look quite movable? Oh, yeah, you're right. Might be. How do we move it though? I'm gonna look at the controls. Let's see. 
triggers. Left trigger is run. Oh, there is shooting. Look. Shoot. Yeah. Uh, hmm. No. No, no. Cancel. What? Uh, hmm. How confusing. For a dark, mysterious jungle, this place is positively bustling. I feel like I'm just doing something stupid. First thing I heard when clicking on the stream is piss. Yes, well, this, <laughs> this must be a great game. Indeed, we have our inventory here. It consists of a bladder. So we can't use it on anything, though, because it just says combine and there's no other objects. I don't get it. Special power. Holly Chigg gifted a tier one sub to Broccoli Donut. They have given 89 gift subs in the channel. Holly, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Broccoli Donut. And Broccoli Donut, enjoy your emotes. The best donut. Yes, I, mm, I I like broccoli, I like donuts, so what could be wrong with that? Oh, hey, it's Dan. Yeah. Ah, what the hell? Does anyone know what to do? <laughs> I'm shockingly embarrassed by my failure here. I, I, I thought I was good at platformers and point-and-click adventures, but I'm not. Hanging vine. Yeah, but it doesn't, like, there's nothing there. Oh! Can he grab it? No. <laughs> grab the vine! Grab the vine, you platforming bastard. Okay. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> Help me, Tarquin. Uh, push! Oh! There we go! Yeah, p oh wait, wait. Yeah, push the... Wait, I had it for a second. Why didn't it... I'm confused by these controls. Can I just use the mouse and keyboard? Please. I just want to click on things with the mouse. Okay. Here we are. Hold to interact. No. You know, for a point-and-click adventure, there's not a lot of pointing and clicking. Okay. There we go push. Come on, come on, stop posing and get a move on. Oh. Yes! Oh my god! That's horrific! Oh my god. He just murdered the indie developer. Why would you do that? Oh god, that's brutal. There's no reason for it. Um. Okay. Examine from afar. Well, what do I do now? This is gonna... Oh. Okay. Maybe I can make it over the power source without getting executed? Yes. Just like James Bond in that bit with those crocodiles. Oh, yes. Platforming is the coolest. So much for the exploration of morality. Brillo! Oh. This is a gentleman's way to get things done. <laughs> See how effortless it is to make things happen? Just stand in the right place and wait. Hmm. I'll stick to jabbing at things with my fingers, Tar. Right. Uh, okay, switch to you. There we go. Ooh, that's some good electricity effects. Wait. I'm gonna need to. Yeah, there are too many objects in front of me. It's never happened to me before. Platforming got involved. <laughs> I'd have a big thing and decide which one to interact with first. You're just standing over a dead body. I mean. Okay. Cycle between multiple objects. So tragic. These trendy looking boots are going to waste now. <laughs> I'm not wearing any shoes. <laughs> he was a rival developer now. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a harsh... It's a, the, the game dev is harsher than I thought. Bubble pipe. It's a child's bubble pipe. A toy repurposed as a fashion Hi. item. Hello, Casper Finknottle. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? We're just getting started, and I've barely figured out how to make the controls work. Why can't I pick it up? The controls are confusing. Like, it says hold to interact, and I do that, but it only lets me talk about it, so I guess I can't take it? Is that what's going on here? 
Okay, whatever. What does this do? Oi, it's a boingy. How is it we can hear each other over any distance now? It's the light telepathic bond we picked up. During the Warlock to Puss Stonehenge invasion incident, remember? Oh yeah, where each archway did to a lift led to a different plane of magics. Man, there was a lot of vague mystical waffle on that wiffle waffle on that adventure. I think uh Ow. <laughs> I think that might have been in Time Gentlemen Please, their previous game, previous adventure game together. A bit it is a bit edgy, isn't it? You know. It's like, oh, just sort of negging on other games and uh, indie developers for some reason. Okay, I can't do that. I thought I could, like, wall jump there. It's like, yeah. I'm not sure what to make of that. Have you ever played The Cave, sort of an adventure platformer 2 by Ron Kilbert? I haven't, no. Have I, I don't know if I've even heard of that. Oh! I popped a boy. Aww! <laughs> he, he exploded like a, like the, the poor alien in Dark Star. This crate looks movable, does it? Okay, we'll move it then. Hold to... I am moving it. It's not moving. Can I only move it one way? Oh, I've got to... Oh, here we go. Yes! Pushing crates. It's looking like life is exhilarating. Pushing a big, lovely crate. Yes, quite. Boy. Nothing up here. The tutorial messages are a bit, a bit in the way. But... Oh, I see. We're going to use this to sort of interrupt the circuitry. Maybe. No. <laughs> that doesn't work. I keep my taste in games to twenty years ago. Yeah. Half-Life was a great game. Half-Life 2. Wait, Half-Life 2 was 20 years ago, wasn't it? Probably? That's insane. Fiddlesticks. The jump is way too high for my current platformer skill levels. My boring single jump skills aren't going to cut it here. I'm going to need some sort of double jump upgrade in order, for, in order to progress. Okay. I still can't go anywhere. Yeah, it's a power source. Yeah. Huh. Oh, oh! Something just... Wait. What just happened? Oh! Oh! Okay. I don't know how that helps me, but... Get... Oh, now I can't even get near that. Oh, maybe if I... Oh, yeah. If I go... If I bring the crate back, then Dan can... Or Ben, the other one, can... Uh climb on it, but I can't get back. I can't get back. Unless I can use this. Huh. I'll go this way. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll go this way. Ah! No, don't go that way. Your nose is a different colour to the rest of your face. It's really disconcerting. It's quirky and alternative. <laughs> nose is a different colour from the rest of your face. Like a clown. I'm so in right now. Yeah. Even that makes no sense. Your nose looks like... Oh, okay. Half-Life 2 was 2004. Okay. I feel like it's being a bit harsh. It's okay for games to have deeper meaning and whatnot. I don't know why it's dunking on themselves. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, it's easy to be negative, you know? Like, I'm not, I'm not super keen on that, really, either. It's like, why can't you just be nice? Whoops. Whoops. I was looking at chat. <laughs> okay, push. Uh, that was wrong, wasn't it? Because now, wait. No! Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm it. I get it, I get it. Uh, right. Now, push this over here. Yeah. And there we go. And can I pull it with him on it? Good. Okay, now. Can you piss on it? 
Use inventory. Piss. Use on. I feel like someone told me once. Pissing on electrical equipment is a bad idea. Come on, you can't remember why exactly. I'm not going to risk it regardless. You're an adventure game character, you can't die. At least it's not Space Quest levels of mean, yeah. I mean, it's it's it, this, this game is mean to other developers the way that Space Quest is mean to the player. <laughs> oh, we can open it. It's jammed shut. Might be able to get it open with a solid, satisfying whack from something sturdy. And ideally something rubber so I don't get electrocuted. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't have anything. Uh, oh my god, there's flies around the developer now. Amazing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So I need to help him get something. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I can just keep pushing this over there and then... There you go. Some sort of newfangled technology. It's like, is the person's weight to manipulate objects elsewhere in the world? Sadly, my undernourished adventurer body is far too weak and pathetic to activate the system. <laughs> yeah. You won't be able to jump on that either. Yeah. Uh, I can't even look at that. What happens if I walk into it? Oh! Wait. What should I, I didn't. I missed what he said. I liked my old walk. It was jovial. Um, yeah, okay. There was stuff on this guy's body, though. Like, can we not take it? Oh, I can't. Oh, it won't come off an edge, will he? Bloody hell. No, oh, I need to... Wait, in order to do this. I need to make sure there's not something on the body I can use. Tarquin's corpse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was another object. The sort of pipe. Bubble pipe, there it is. It's really awkward. The controls are really awkward. There. Yeah, it, it'll just, it won't do anything with it. Okay. I <laughs> should have saved, yeah. <laughs> That's, that emote has been less useful uh, depending on the game, you know, because. Uh, You quite often don't even need to. In these these modern games, not like the old days, my son. Back in my day, you had to save every five minutes or lose everything. Okay. Uh, I'm stuck again. This game's hard. Ideas? I am open to suggestions. Yeah. If I could just set what's his name's point. Yeah, I just needed to hit him, hit something, hit the power source with something, but he can't do that. Examine from afar. Oh, that's what the right stick is doing. Yeah, okay. Back in my days, we had to write our save games ourselves on stone with pickaxes, both ways. What? There was no way for Ben to loot the developer's corpse? I don't think so. Every interaction just led me to... Uh, so, like, if I do this, and I hold the up on the D-pad, oh, it lets me do this, but it didn't give me this on uh, on the developer's body. It's jammed shut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I could... No, I... I hmm. Same thing here, like, there's no... Oh. No. It's really, like, confusing, the context-sensitive thing. 
that what was most appropriate. <laughs> There must be a way. There must be a way. I'm gonna go back. Wait, if I just do this. No, I respawn in the wrong place. Okay, great. Uh I'll just go back. Try to loot the developer's body again. Cause I don't know what else to do. Maybe I did just miss something. Ah, right. Ah! I forgot about the spikes. This area seems kind of pointless. I quite like the art style. Like, uh, it's not quite pixel art, but it, it does have sharp pixels. Um, but it's uh, it's got an interesting style to it. Like, it's it's not quite sprites. I, feel, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what to make of it. <laughs> okay. Let's back on the ground. And then... Yeah, nothing. Oh! Now it works! Okay, okay. <sighs> Thank you. I... These, confu these controls are really confusing. Cell shading, yeah, kind of. High res pixel art, but yeah, it's it's, it's got the non-perfect pixels. Like if I like the, the zooming in and out, that's a no-no in pure pixel art. But they're uh... investigate. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you get into extreme sports like uh, indie development. Nice boots though. They're huge, but with a little tweak, they'd fit Dan. Oh, the boots. Okay, so the problem I was having is I was using this to interact with everything, but you just gotta not do that, and then... Okay. Wow. Three minutes in and you're still in shoes of a dead man. Some things don't change, do they? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to kill cancer here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now we have inventory items. <laughs> uh-huh. Right. Yeah. I wish the game wasn't so mean. There's no need for it. Wait. Is that the right thing to do? Yes. I guess you can probably use the shoes to break it open because uh, it might be rubber soles or something. Okay. Use inventory. There we go. Gave it some welly. Leaking battery. Pick up. I'll just pick that up. I'll get executed. Let's give it a sturdy whack for something non conductive. Yeah, well. Let's try that. Uh, use inventory. There's some more welly. Hey, no recycling jokes. Oh, no recycling jokes until the next level at least. I thought you <laughs> Yay. Nice. Okay, good. Size 13 boots are either huge or really small, yeah. Maybe that's, uh, maybe they're, these devs are like, uh, have a small shoe size, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and it's okay to take the piss out of them, because they've already declared war on every other indie dev in the world. So, that's how that works. Uh, let's use inventory. Let's, uh, let's piss on Dan. I only piss in two places, toilets and graves. Why? Dan is neither. Good of you to notice. Well, sometimes I swear so much. People say I have a mouth like a toilet. Hmm. That passes the test, actually. Do it. Do it. <laughs> That's definitely... Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Leaking battery. Alright, let's grab this. Battery's leaking in particularly volatile acid. 
Actually, if my fingers can't feel pain, this might be jolly sore. <laughs> right. Okay, now I understand the controls. This should go a bit. <laughs> no jokes about recycling. Yeah, that's what I thought it meant. No recycling jokes. Not no recycling jokes. You know? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh, he's res got the respawn. What's it going? Okay, I think. I guess we can make. Uh, we can probably do like. Wait. No. Um. Can we just like combine this with the boots to make power boots? Yes. Maybe. No. Did that do anything? What do you get when you don't sort your glass in plastic? I don't know. What do you get when you don't sort your glass in plastic? <laughs> Lol. Yes. <laughs> uh, that didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. Yeah, it kind of has a... Uh... Hmm. Piss in the pipe? That sounds about right. No, nope, that doesn't sound right at all. What are you saying? Okay. What? Oh, that was... <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, that's only part of a joke, though. That's like... That's the start of a joke. What's the rest of it? I want to hear the rest of the joke. Okay, I guess I can just give him the boots. Well, it's certainly not too small for Dan's delicate wee feet. But there's nothing special about these boots to warrant him wearing them. Yeah, we need to make them special. I'm fastidious these days about only wearing items of clothing. They enhance my ability somehow. Hence this ultra-tight lycra jumpsuit I'm wearing. Oh, yes. Which makes my jog a fraction of a percentage faster. All adds up. We platformers really have to be at the top of our game. Yeah, it... It is a bit verbose with the, hey, this is a game. Did you know? This is a video game. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, I made a game about that where, where the characters knew they were in a video game. but So I can't really talk. Uh, where is leaking? Yeah. What about this pipe? It's got to be useful. So can I wear it? Oh, hello. <laughs> can't wear these. Platform shoes. Oh, that's clever. That's clever. That's a good joke. That's a good joke. Okay, so I've got the pipe. Why? Why? <laughs> why? Is he... It's. It doesn't. It's like that's weird. Okay. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Oh, I can interact with the vines. Pull. These are thick Peruvian vines. They're far too strong. Maybe I can weaken them somehow. Ah, the acid! Yes, of course. There we go. Oh my goodness. This acidy battery is going to come in pretty useful, I can tell. Yes. Uh-oh. Some sort of jumping beast monster in here. Dan! Use your platformer skills and jump on this damn thing, will you? <laughs> yeah, alright. Oh, I see, yes. Look at that. Oh, That's so sad. It wasn't doing anything, and I killed it for no reason. Oh, well. Uh, trumpet bottoms creature. Looks like these jumping trumpets st bit still works. It's just his head has popped. <laughs> Leaving the creature itself alive, but in horrific agony. Oh my god. The important point is the jumping mechanism definitely still works. Just like the indie developer. Yeah. It's just a murder train, doesn't it? Uh, okay, so we can probably pick up the jumping bit. Fine addition to my inventory. Inflated jumping beast with a long, thin arms like shoelaces. <laughs> shoelaces. See, there's a clue. Right. I like they give you clues. Hmm. This should work to give Dan a little extra jumpy boost. I should source two of these jumpy creatures first, though. To match the number of feet he has. <laughs> Can't he just hop? I mean, there was another one over there, but, um... But he couldn't... Uh, he can't get up there. Uh... Can I give you the boots now? 
It's not going to work, is it? Certainly. No, yeah, yeah, I need to add. Okay, so there was another dead one up there, but I don't know how to get it down. So it's like a reverse Sierra game where everyone dies except the player. We're not even an in. Yeah, the body count is already three. Yeah, kind of. Uh, okay, so like we need this thing, but we can't move it because 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 he can't d can't do things. Hold to push or pull certain objects. It's not working. Huh? Oh, oh, we need to get. Oh, we can use this to get down up there. I mean Ben. <laughs> ben is that one. Dan is this one. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Makes sense. Yeah. Thank you guys. I uh <laughs> appreciate the help. Uh okay. Uh pick up. There we go. Yeah, another sentient creature murdered by Dan in this humanitarian quest. Two jumping creatures, which oddly enough, yes we know. Same number of feet that Dan has. Are you telling them about how many feet I have? Yes. Is still two? Yep, still two. Okay. Uh Right. This thing, look over here. And yes. He's dead, John. <laughs> Indeed. Aha! Massive triumph. I've successfully created a... Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Well, I'm combining my objects in my inventory, just like I always do. Ugh. Look. If you're going to insist on sticking to old, boring 1995 ways of doing everything, at least call it crafting from now on. <laughs> That's what the kids are calling it now. Do you want the bloody things or not? Of course he does. There you go. I combined up some double jump boots. Oh look man, what a lovely hat and new item you've crafted there. Fine. I've crafted some double jump boots for you here. Ooh! Nice. I mean, jumping is ridiculous enough as it is, but these boats will bestow a second preposterous mid-jump that you can reach higher heights than ever before. Uh-huh. So you do that every time you put your shoes on, do you? <laughs> uh, it, oh, there we go. Wow, it's like a fart jump. Amazing. Okay, that's... Uh, what does that do? Uh, it brings that up. Okay, so that's how we get uh, inventory boy here going. Crafting? You mean wasting your player's time? Yes, exactly. It's not fun if you don't have to grind for ages to it. Wait, did I just squash? I just squashed Ben. I mean Dan or Ben, whichever one. Could you imagine this? What does that say? UPG white square. I don't... Well, it, it must be some ASCII characters that Twitch doesn't know about. Okay, so... No. And here we go. Okay, what is this? Gas leak. That doesn't seem fun. Some sort of totem pole. Yeah, but there's, like, gas coming out of it. Um, you have a respawn point there, so I'm going to try it with you. Okay, no, yeah, I should have known that was going to happen. So, hmm. Ah, that happened again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, he can breathe because, yes, because of the pipe. I see, now it makes sense. Okay. Use. Hmm. Same sum switches require me to stand here like a lemon next to them. They'll deactivate if I move. Okay. Uh, it hasn't actually deactivated the gas though. So what does it do? 
floor switch. He's too, he's too, can't do it, yeah. It's like, that, like, we need to do both to get through, but Dan can't get through because of the, yeah, because of the gas. Blocks are intentional. The game said upgrade in yellow text on a yellow background. Oh, I see. Yes. You've got to outline your text or at least give it a drop shadow. Otherwise, otherwise, what's the point? You know, what is the point? Why would you even do it? I don't, I don't know. Um, hmm. Oh, maybe I can deactivate this directly. Investigate. It's, 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 let's see how I can press. Oh, I see. Yeah, because he's breathing through there. Like break it with the acid. Don't need that gassy. Huh. Hidden switch. Okay, there we go. Use. Soft now. As the gas disperses, it should be safe. I just look up a Unicode block for that gag. Not worth the effort, really. I'm sorry, I didn't get it. I am a bit smooth brain. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Oh wow, look at that. This is like a fighter jet. I mean, a, a World War II thingy. Oh, okay. Oh, is that gold? I want to collect it. Oh, what? What just happened? Uh, okay. Well, I think the first thing we need is... Uh, Special power! Down here. Holly, thank you for gifting a sub to Garlic Spring. Much appreciated. Oh, I bet we'll have to use all sorts of swinging and trigger monitoring and stuff to get past this bit. I hope we make a seesaw. Yes. I put loads and loads and loads of things on one side. Yes. Jesus, help me. Uh, thank you so much, Holly. Most kind of you. Mega hype. Yes. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's good to see you back, uh, obvious track. It's good to see you back in the gaming streams, uh, Holly Wells. But it's good to be back doing gaming streams and to, and to see you here. Uh, only a total idiot would, wouldn't realise this is a trap. Yes. Hey, Dan. <laughs> I think there's something glinting back there. What a bastard. Oh, on it. Huh. Yeah. That's fun. At least they're mean to each other. Hanging crate. Push. We'll be able to shift it. Even a little bit. Besides, I have no intention of feeling gold this adventure. What? Another of these crates. It's your brave new world, isn't it, Dan? Crate pushing. Adventurers have been doing that since at least 2006, mate. Ah, but at least they're not symbolic of psychological blocks when you do it. So it's not, they're not, okay, whatever. It's fucking nonsense. <laughs> Symbolism is stupid, apparently. Uh, Alright, you can double jump, yeah. So you can't even collect all this gold. What's the point? Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, I know life life gets in the way and stuff. You know, it's uh, it's not always easy. I don't manage to get to all the streams I want to, but it's, uh, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> At least it's not game breaking. I can't push this either, even though it seems to indicate I should be able to. Hmm. He can't get anywhere. Wait. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, obvious trap. Let's go into it. Okay. Well, that was fun. Uh, I know why... Hmm. Maybe. No. Maybe. Is there some way to like... No. What? This always happens! Damn, the floor is weird. 
There's a thing to be said about too, too, too self-aware. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's what they said about robots or something. I don't know. <laughs> don't be self-aware, because because uh, you'll destroy humanity or something. I don't know. Oh, this battery is super overpowered. Yeah, you, you're just gonna burn holes in everything. This eventually, will be done in a jiffy. Okay, good. Now I think I can push it. Yes, okay. Blimey, Dan. Gold is 9.3 grams per cubic centimetre. How are you pushing the entire crate of it? Either my big, beastly platforming hands have made me inhumanly strong, or it's gold-plated lithium. <laughs> Gold-pressed latinum? <laughs> oh, wait. Huh. How are we going to... Because I want him to stand on the thing, but... How do I get him past it? Hi. Hello, Holly Cheer. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're already here, but hello again. <laughs> oh, oh, I get it. Because I said gold press Latinum, so you, you did a Ferengi thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really stupid today. I'm really smooth brain. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just like, hello. <laughs> Any streamer you can reference for Angus is a good day. That's true. That's true. Okay. Uh, hmm. Dan, talk to me. All right. Yeah. No, don't talk to me. Bye, then. Isn't this fun? I noticed it wasn't phrases of questions. <laughs> yeah. So I've been learning French a little bit. I've been doing French on Duolingo, which is quite fun. They actually, they actually like that you can do Klingon on Duolingo. That might be fun, but um, it's weird. In French, a lot of questions are just interrogative statements, like uh, "Tout va bien" is "You are good?" question mark. It's not "Are you good?" that you can't say that. You have to say "You are good." What? What? What is doing it again? Um, oh, of course that works. I'm an idiot. There we go. Alright. Oh, I feel stupid. Okay, I can't get through here now. God damn it. Oh. How? Hmm. Esperanto is the future. Jaramita! That's the only one I know. Because <laughs> uh, of Red Dwarf. Oh, this game's tough. I don't know what to do. Can't get through here. Oh, I could jump. Oh, yeah, here we go. Gonna be something I can do with this. Otherwise, what's the point of it? It's just a Spitfire, just just hanging out. Oh, I can move it. Okay, of course I can. Yes. Brilliant. Oh wow. Okay. Amazing. Uh. Hmm. What is the point of this? <laughs> So I can get back up there. Must be ah! It's stuck in the floor. That's so weird. Can't move that anymore. Hmm. Maybe you can hook up the battery to those wires. What wires? I guess I could have him try to melt the thing again. Oh, flat this plat. Yeah, let's interact with it. Damn, the battery must have fallen out. Oh, those wires. Gotcha. This explains why it's not in the sky anymore. This whole complicated setup does make sense. Okay, sure it does. He's going to have to give up his battery now. Pretty impressive this battery is continually leaking acid. And yet still, it's presumably going to be able to power a small aeroplane. Yeah. That's incongruous jungle tech for you, I guess. Uh huh. Oops, there you go. Careful that front end, it's very spinny. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So. Push it into something? Oh! Amazing! What an. What a logical solution. 
Oh, I should have touched the front. Perfectly, exactly what I intended to happen. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yes, this is obviously... Oh, the battery's still there. We still get to keep the battery. How exciting. Top got chopped off in all the commotion. Still full of acid, just now in a handy drinkable format instead. Great. Drink the acid, mate. Drink it. Drink it. No, you won't do it. Okay. Alright. Oh, yeah, we'll need to melt this. Uh... That's definitely a direction you cut the tree. Yeah. <laughs> moon logic, yeah. It's very moon logic. What is that? Like a fourth use for this leaky battery? I've carried a ship broken battery around before. If I'd known they were this useful. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, right, you pull the switch. And you do that. There we go. Cool. Oh, it's the flower! Excellent. Well, the inventory boy should pick it up. Look at it first. Well, this is the only flower I've seen so far in this entire jungle. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is the one Dan was banging on about. Yeah, it's rotating incongruously. Let's pick it up. I bet something. I bet nothing terrible is going to happen. The exact flower we need for Matt sees colon cancer. Yes. Whatever life throws at us, we'll muddle through every time. We go home now. Well, that was a short game. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh wait. It's the inevitable c complication. Or the intro sequence. <laughs> wow. That's a delayed intro. Party power. Bobby Zeal. Hello. And thank you for joining us. And uh, we've just, well, we've sort of just started. Lair of the Clockwork God. And, uh, well, we just finished the intro, I guess. And now it's the title drop. Yeah! And the music. <laughs> Bobby Zeal, thank you so much for raiding. What were you playing? Was it, um... Uh, let's do the shout out. Yes. Uh, one second. Uh, can I do this from here without disrupting the game? Bobby Zeal. <laughs> yes. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Sorry, the shout out isn't working. But um go check out Bobby Zeal. Uh uh has just recently started streaming and has been playing Spelunky and a bit of a shoot map. Wait, I swear it feels like it, London it gets worse every time. I don't remember all this death and destruction and underlying sense of dread and whatnot. All the apocalypses have come at once. Run you idiot. Spot won't stay sheltered forever. What the hell is happening? I'm an adventurer. I might be able to manage quick walking. Although honestly, that seems a little fancy for me. There's a dinosaur. You'll have to give me a piggyback ride. <laughs> and chance I'm setting that precedent. <laughs> Putting the infinite concrete slabs in your bindle and jump on my back without warning. Look at his eyebrows, I just noticed. Not an issue. This is an infinite space zero weight inventory. Of course it is. Standard adventurer kit. Well, okay, let's give it a go then. Stand still while I come up to you and activate you. Ugh. It's far too heavy. But at least partly due to your full to bursting point bladder. <laughs> Honestly, you spend hours and hours on these adventures walking, talking, and using. You never take a quick wee break. You're gonna do yourself a nasty one these days. Yeah, like, um. Go use bladder with a pile of rubble or something. Maybe you platform bricks relieve yourself wherever you like. I'm going to hold on for a proper civilized facility, thank you very much. Or a grave. I'll always take the opportunity to piss on a grave. What's wrong with you? Um, Gabriel Enmer, hello, welcome. Uh, we're playing Lair of the Clockwork God, and the apocalypse has happened, and now, uh, what's his name, needs to take a piss. Right, yeah. Let's wee out. Yes, okay, yes. Right. Where do we wee? Down the tube. Look at that. There's a gravity rip. 
One of the apocalypses appears to be gravity going Transmit friendly greetings, all languages, all frequencies. Kill it. Kill what? <laughs> Have I heard this game before? It looks dark and weird. Yeah, it's a internal sense of gravity. Is that a thing? Yeah, we're all discrete objects in space, right? No. We will have our own personal gravity. Kind of. Basic science. That. Well, every particle has its own basic gravity. Dan should be able to jump or jump up there. Yeah, okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no! That's horrific. Even, even to happen to a clown. It's still holding the balloons! These guys are hilarious. Wow. The old nugget, where to pee in the apocalypse. Yeah, so this is a combination platformer and a point and click adventure game without the pointing, without the clicking. It's, it's the button pressing thing. Okay, Dan, go jump in the what's it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Gravity's gone up. Oh my god, this is just everything I ever dreamed it would be. See, now, if you. If you're not careful, you'll just fall into space forever. So let's make him fall into space forever. Oh, come on. Now go down. Go down and down and down. I mean up. There we go. Oh, and his gravity reverses. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, sort of makes sense. What? You fucking what? Gravity going left now? It's unbelievable. I've never seen this before. Yeah, this is confusing. Left gravity, so innovative. Brillo, brillo, brillo. Oh, it's disorienting though. It's kind of making me feel a bit ill. So I'm actually, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, here's some facilities. That should be useful. Although it seems to be the woman's toilets. Or it, has it got like a dual thing on the front? I don't know. Is he going to be picky about which toilets he's going to use? Probably. Okay, we can't push this because we're at the wrong gravity. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> okay, I guess I can use this. There we go. Okay. He's loving all these uh, adventure puzzles. Isn't, I mean, platforming puzzles, isn't he? Ooh. Achieved something noise. Can you go in the phone booth? Uh, entrails? Jeez. My god, the apocalypse has set loose a bunch of wild animals. And they're running around ripping people apart. Or it could be unrelated. Hi. Fun time Dreddy! Hello! How's it going? This is, uh... This is a very cute game about a clown that got ripped in half. And, and it's just dripping blood on Dan's head there. That's Londoners for you. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? Good to see you here. Uh, so there's a out, there's a loo up there, but he can't get to it. It's personal return to gravity since they've all got kind of all left. Right. Oh, maybe I should have pushed it as Ben when I was up there. Oh, damn it. I might have to go, go all the way back. Oh, I can go. Yeah. Okay, wait. No. Ah! That again. I haven't taken a break yet. I was going to take a break uh, in a bit. Uh, let's see. That's the wrong one. These all reverse my... Oh, I can see. The direction of the particles inside determines the gravity. Uh, oh, yeah. That was stupid. Uh, when you get into it. So all this me trying to get him to fall up into space forever actually led me the right way. So, the game is doing well by getting me to dislike the characters. Left gravity. Here we go. Very, very disorienting gravity. Ew, I hate it. Genuinely gives me a little bit of motion sickness. Okay, can you push this? There, there we go. I've never done strenuous pushing outside the loop before. Outside. Oh, very funny. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Uh, how do we get back? Oh, like this. There we go. Okay, go do your thing, mate. Use your bladder on the toilet. Seems silly, he's pressing the door when. The yeah, okay, we'll go in then. You smart ass. Open. Doors open. Use 
Step one of a successful week complete. Now all the messy phases. Yeah, okay. Oh, for God's sake. You feeling alright? Yeah, just adventure pipe work chat. <laughs> people stole my blood today and I got to pet a cat and buy a pirate themed action figure toy for normal adult people so I'm fine. What the hell? Dreddy, why do you have such an interesting life? That's weird and brilliant. No wait, why, why did someone steal your blood? How much of it? Are you okay? Do you need a cookie? <laughs> The peeing noise! Ah, oh, that's hit the spot. <laughs> you still look quite heavy. Maybe there's a way to lighten you. Yeah, the balloons. The balloons on the on the on the clown half, right? That's that's the Oh goodness. Yeah. Alright, how do we do this? Aha! Yes, pop one of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, not the entrails. The clown. Talk to. Hey clown, you dead? You called it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why is this one of the options? Should be able to breathe in some of the Oh look, the balloon! Okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> I suppose science will make me lighter, okay. Oh goodness. Couldn't you just hold the balloon? Dear, my voice is kind of silly. Hurrah! With your empty bladder and wonderfully light lungs, I can carry you wherever you need to go. Brilliant. No more taking turns walking like a pair of idiots. Amazing. Uh, right, how do I go down? Like that. Okay. Piggyback. We can now piggyback, just like real grown ups. Oh yeah, I see what you mean now. Up a good, and then nothing, and then plus plus. Hurrah! Now I can be pens prevent personal taxi service. Which means we don't have to take turns walking anymore. Amazing. Joke was on them. They had to prick me several times till they managed to see even a tiny amount. I felt like the clown car in the background. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if a balloon and two helium-filled surgical gloves can lighten a pirate, then a single huge balloon should do the trick here. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, getting your mileage out of those uh, ASCII characters there. Okay, here we go. Aha! Let me down so I can use that switch. Can't you use it from up there? I can't interact with anything from up here. It's too erotically charged. Oh goodness. Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah, use the lever, you bastard. <laughs> Might be a good idea if I don't put you down. I'll uh, get one of us. Wait, I missed that. I'll get back to the flat. It could have been destroyed. Who call? Whatever you said. I don't want to risk scuffing my shoes and anything apocalyptic. Okay, great. Uh, all right. Let's get through this section. And then I'm going to take a break. Stop putting your fingers on my eyes. Can't see anything. Oh wow! Look at the lasers. Whoa! It's horrible out here. Wow. Okay, that's legit really fucking cool. Look at the tears in reality. Oh my god. This is just like a Spider-Man movie. Oh no. Whoa. What the hell? That was like a boot of a giant alien or something. Fair warning, I've just done a trump. That means fart, by the way. This really is all the apocalypses. Oh no, it's, the, it's a bomb. <laughs> that goes off, we're in big trouble. Oh no. Oh crap. I don't know all this way. Why are there blimps? Okay, uh, of all things. Cure of reporting. Oh, and there's uh, UFOs too. Oh no, the bomb's fallen over. <laughs> Don't explode. Come on, there we go. Jump now! No, sorry, now! Oh wait, here? Okay, now, there we go. Not helping. Okay, great, that's not helpful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is there no one else around? I mean, everyone else is dead. I certainly could have solved this with dialogue, you know. Totally could have solved it with dialogue. Why don't you use some dialogue to shut up? <laughs> wow. Whoa, they broke the moon! 
Head for that small shed. It may provide some small sucker against that giant tentacle monster. Oh! Brexit really did a number on us. <laughs> oh, this is the consequences no one expected. Oh. Wow. Never visit London. Yes. It is just like this, honestly. A bit more crowded, actually. <laughs> the most a strange thing about this is how there's no one here. There's no one in London. What, why is nothing happening? Okay. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Arcturus, thank you for subscribing with Prime. I don't know why it's not making the announcement. I thought it was just slow. My goodness. Thank you so much for the for the Prime sub. And we're back here. This is annoying. We have to do this again. But yeah, I, uh, I hope you like the emotes. Uh, I, it's really, actually, on my on my chat, it looks like the rats are like overlapping the... Uh, I suppose it depends how you have it formatted. Anyway, it's not it's not important. Special power. There it goes. There it goes. The special power was just slow, that's all. Thank you again. Much appreciated. There should be a couple of uh, animated um, mega hype emotes. I don't know if they're not working or something. But, you know, the static ones are good too. Okay, let's do this again. We get to see the, the stupid, uh, the crazy sequence again. Oh yeah, there we go. Special power needs to charge up first. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do this again. Okay. Action sequence! Again! is really cool. It's not a bad thing to have to watch this again. <laughs> Damn. Another thing, there aren't quite this many phone boxes anymore in London. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, they weren't animating before. Okay. As I noob to Twitch, what do Prime subs do? So, uh, Prime sub is no different than a normal sub, except that you uh, can, you basically get a free sub if you have Amazon Prime, or t you know, um, and you link it to Twitch, and that gives you a free. Oh damn it! I did the same damn thing again. Oh, I, I managed to get it. There we go. Uh, yeah, you get a free sub with your um, Prime subscription. Yeah. But I, I try not to mention it because it's like sub begging if I if I if I talk about it too much so you know it's like did you know you could subscribe with Twitch Prime like yeah yeah, uh, yeah. um see a blue police phone box hiding there I heard there's plenty of room inside that's a good idea yes I thought everyone in, oh damn it I everyone in London had a time traveling phone box yeah <laughs> So if I use Prime here, it will Yeah, it basically... Forty-two gifted a tier one sub to Gabriel underscore Emma. They have given 92 gift subs in the channel. Thank you, Holly, for gifting a sub to Gabriel Enma. Yeah, if you... Uh, it's As far as... Um, I get the same for a, a Prime sub as I do for any sub. So, yeah. Thank you, Holly, for your generosity. I really appreciate it. Okay. Let's see if it works this time. And we have a hype train. Well, we have a close to a hype train. Okay, here we go. Hype train, also known as scam train. <laughs> oh, Brillo hiding place, dude. A rickety old shed. Hey, was this or the toilet, okay? Yeah. Okay. Should be safe. Oh god, there's a laser beam. Why was there a laser beam? What? What's happening? Power up. Scam Me too. train. Hype. <laughs> Thank you for the bit. Much appreciated. Uh, there's a neat hat here. Let's pick it up. Hmm. Seems to be stuck to his sticky head. Who's? Oh god, there's a. I've had very sticky hair. I just realised that was a body. Power up. 
Some people just have all aboard the Bezos it. train. <laughs> yes. Uh. If you get a prime sub, Jim will personally come to your house and bring you a chocolate covered banana and a silver plate. Ooh, bananas? No. What are you talking about? Uh, banging door. Yes, look at. This door is banging. Agreed. It's well wicked. <laughs> Bezos in your face. I don't like chocolate dready. Why don't you like chocolate dready? So, that's funny. I don't like bananas. You don't like chocolate. So it's like, for both of us, it's just not a good time. <laughs> Why is there a dead guy here? Why is his eyes so big? Oh man, that's a neat hat. Shiny shield logo on everything and everything. Really, really want that hat. Are you going to have to cut his head off? Talk to him. Hello? Mind if I take your hat? Doesn't seem to mind at all. Yeah. Of course not. Uh, hmm. Not much for Dan to do here. I mean, there's this. I don't understand what's happening there. There's like a laser beam coming from nowhere. Can I look at it from... Oh, yeah, it's a door. Looks like there's some sort of boring physical obstruction. It's far as the end of the shed. I guess one more person needs to give bits for a hype train. It meant more than one. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about the hype train. It's just it's just silliness. The chocolate is to keep the spiders inside the bananas. Oh my god. Did you see that video where somebody like kills a spider with a broom and then a million tiny spiders come out of the dead spider? This is the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. Sorry, Arcturus. I know you're... Yeah, maybe... I think you're alright if you're just hearing about it. But you do not want to watch that video. Trust me. Uh-huh. Chocolate Dreddy is a rare find. All I ever find is original Dreddy. <laughs> original Dreddy, chocolate Dreddy, and now new strawberry Jerry. Can we get the train? <laughs> I think you missed the train, but I still I appreciate the uh, appreciate the bits. Thank you so much. Um, right, I'm stuck again. Uh, can I use inventory? Let's see. Uh, acid, yes. Use. That is stuck to a sticky head. Maybe I can eat away at some of the hairs. Yes, and loosen the hat up. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Just boil, pour acid on this poor guy's body. Oh my god. Mm, close enough. Wow. He's picked up the head. The shield badge has a name on it. Looks like I'm taking Ian Courage here for the along for the ride. Welcome aboard, Ian. Stuck? Visit the store for premium items. That's got to be a joke. That's got to be a joke. Let it be a joke. Wow. Headwear, also head here. Belong to one erstwhile Ian Courage. I don't know who that is. Maybe it's like a reference or something. Hmm. Can you wear it now? Can you wear the head on your head? Probably. This is going to be horrific. Oh my god. What the actual fuck? What is wrong with this person? Look at this. He's a psychopath. He's an absolute fucking psychopath. <laughs> yeah, open the door. I'm not opening that. Who knows what manner of complicated beast might be behind there. Yeah, <laughs> no worries, Arcturus. Still, there's something hard to draw regardless, yeah. Original Dreddy is just stale and salty. Mmm, salty. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, uh, so standing on this seems to do something. Brings the laser to focus. Oh, I get it. It's a retinal scanner for the door. Right. But, um... But it's like, you know, so that's why we need the hat to look at the thing. But he can't get across. How's, how's he supposed to get across? Just just bloody take a jump, will you? It's not that hard. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you might get stuck in the floor. Oh, piggyback. I forgot about the piggybacking. There we okay, I'm an idiot. There we go. There we are. I forgot about the piggyback. Probably should go down there. Might tune in on the car on my way to lunch. Okay, well, thanks for thanks for joining, uh, Holly. Good to see you here. Uh, these damn apocalypses are weaseling their way everywhere. There are weasels now, too. Sorry, I missed that a little bit. This apocalypse is getting worse by the second. See you later, Arcturus. Have a good eating time. Or dinner, if you like. Okay, so. Let's see if we can get through this door. Uh, this looks like a job for inventory object puzzles. Uh, wait. Does it? Can we just walk through? What? Did the door not open? 
I think I missed some some important plot dialogue or something. Oh. Hmm. I forgot about the controller in a sock. It was a classic moment. That was from uh, my Skyrim stream where I, uh, in case you in case you're unaware, that's uh, where I did player quests. Um, so uh, basically, the players gave me quests, and uh, many of them were rather silly. <laughs> many of them were from Dreddy. Oh, I can. Oh, okay. I can push it. Okay, uh, and I can get stuck in the floor. Okay, here we go. Oh, barely. Oh wow, look at this. It's like an underground lab. It's all very weird. That apocalypse is still standing awfully close. Yeah. I think we should try to get underground. Oh well. We can safely figure out which dastardly supervillain is behind all this and how to stop him. Yeah. Well, or her. It's a scientific fact that fewer than 5% of supervillains are female, actually. Is that true? Sexist dinosaur. Yes, that would be statistically more likely. I think there's plenty of villains who are women in fiction. Uh, can we just like... No. I wasn't meant to look at that. I didn't mean to look at Dan. I want to look at this elevator. Can we use it? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, it was just a background crate. Ooh. What's this? This has no exit. One of us needs to find the other end first. How do you know it's a portal? Okay, whatever. Wow, look at this. There's a dinosaur egg that's like about to hatch. <laughs> this is a cool dinosaur. FOV to Max was also fun. Oh yeah, that was that was nausea inducing. There was another one where I um I had to play for five minutes completely blind. I need a good run up to jump that fire and my legs are still too weak and nearly for sprinting, yeah. Um Circuits of this office to work up my calf muscles. It's going to take a few months. No time for that. It's the apocalypse. Is hold on. I'll try to combine you up some steroids or something. That won't work very quickly either. Craft them, Ben. We're never going to remain relevant. Resolute refused to use 21st century lingo. Uh, yeah, you're stuck back in. You're stuck back in the time of edginess, though. You two. Um, <laughs> it looks like a Stargate. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right, Dreddy. Of course. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh. Cycle through. Okay. It's just two. Uh, yeah, and there was one where I had to do uh, play for five minutes blind, and I ended up just running into a wall for five minutes, so it was really entertaining. So that's an office down here with an empty water fountain. Can we just go down the elevator? I mean, they must must be out of power or something. There's doors here we can't go in. That's good. This looks like a lot of stuff we can interact with. If only Dan could get up here. But he oh wait, I can I can bring him up here. Come on, I keep forgetting about the piggybacking. There we go. Okay. I mean Ben. I always forget which one is which. Look at. Hmm, some sort of ancient portal. Forgotten technology allowing us to change teleportation between two points. Probably safe just to give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? Player quest streaming Sky Skyrim with some gold star classic streaming. Thank you, Dreddy. I might I, I might do that again. Uh, look at Alright, these things all have little descriptions to read. Oh no. This one says ancient Atlantean device batteries not included. Can we take it? Oh no, I know how it goes with those ancient trinkets. You pick one up, suddenly you've got ten of the things. And you're trying to put them all in the right order or whatever. Unless I spot any Atlantean big purple spanners, I'm steering clear. Okay, great. It's a Bigfoot foot put, footprint. These fossilized footprints show that with no protection, the Bigfoots were viciously wiped out by small predator species. Someone has crossed out Bigfoots and written Big Feet with a magic marker. Oh, it's the old LucasArts logo. So it is, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's a cube. It's three-dimensional. Extra-dimensional artifact. That's funny. Do not stare directly at this artifact. So it's been known to cause temporary madness. That's funny. Yeesh. Keep it nailed in a the box, then. Wouldn't even know where to start picking this up. <laughs> yeah. There's too many sides. I don't have enough hands. Leaving this thing well alone. <laughs> Look at 
this? Velociraptor egg. Oh dear. The faster the dinosaurs yet can still not outrun their doom. The egg's bouncing around, making it immediately more enticing than all this other stuff. It's maybe one of the apocalypse is dinosaurs coming back. Or making eggs wobble. Well let's take it, shall we? Oh I do love a good egg. Right. Cool skull. Dinosaurs evolved to the point of developing bifocals, yet they still could not see their doom. Whoever this office belonged to, they certainly trained their employees in dramatic irony. Yes. Boring scrolls. Scrolls from Atlantis. Oh, fortunately, yeah, okay. Fallout 3 quarters play. Oh, Fallout 3 or 4 player quest streaming could be a hoot potentially. There's lots of suitable games. That's true, yeah, Fallout might be good. But there's kind of less. Like, everything's dead in Fallout, so it's kind of. I don't know. Oh, I guess I can't go in one at a time. Not everything's dead. You know what I mean? Like, it's more of a. Um, I think Skyrim has more sort of open potential for things. I don't know. Maybe it could work. We could try that. Yeah, why don't we try that? Why don't we try that? Do a Fallout 4 um, player stream thing. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. My molecules feel itchy. Okay. Tiny hot demons. What? Thousands upon thousands of tiny hot demons. Oh, wait. What's that? I've never seen anything like it before in my life. It's fire, you idiot. Uh, what do we have? It's not going to work. It is! Ow, ow. Hot. How does Jeff do this all day long? Because they get chef's hands. But well, I think they just jab things in the fires with their fingers, Ben. Well, what choice did I have? I don't see a whisk or whatever laying around here, do you? Whatever. Fallout 76 is quite alive, but you might get trolled by the players, yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'll walk into it, I'm just going to respawn. I don't know what to do. Again. Hmm, any ideas? Hmm. But yeah, I'm probably going to do a few first impressions at least, because uh, there's a lot of games I want to play that I don't really. I'm, I'm probably not going to get around to playing unless I, uh, unless I stream them. Essentially, uh, like I've had this game for like a year and I still haven't played it yet. So, but I do the thing where I save a game for a stream and then I never play it, you know, because an, or or a video. Uh, but use the doohickey on the majingi. Oh, okay. Let's try that. Can I melt the? Uh, like this, this battery has been good for everything. Can I use use the battery on it? it on. Acid on fire seems like a bad combo. Yeah, you're right. Hot acid, acidic fire. There's enough apocalypse going on as is. That adding to the problem around bastard creations. I like this that they actually you don't just get a generic that doesn't do anything. <laughs> you know, you get uh you get something for it. Miracle cure rendered ironic by the arrival of apocalypses. Yeah. Headwear. Oh, it is cooked! Okay, we cooked the egg. Good. What's the point of that? Can we just eat it? Maybe maybe Dan needs it to, like, make his uh, legs better or something. I don't know. No. <laughs> uh. Inventory. Have this egg. Hey Dan, I'll cook this egg for you. Might make you run quicker. Yeah, of course. It's Dino DNA after all. Dino DNA. So impressive. La yeah, dinosaurs have impressive land speed. Thanks, buddy. But if I absorb the DNA into my bloodstream, I'll need a lot more energy to fuel my newly swollen thighs. Can you mix it into an energy drink or something? Strikes me as a revolutionary mix of complementary skill sets. Is shaking out as me being your butler. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I guess I need to uh, combine the. 
Yep, there we go. Dino DNA combined with battery acid. Which produced an astonishing energy drink. If Dan drank this, he'd have raptor like speed. I assume so anyway. I've got a D minus in my chemistry GCSE. Yeah, um. Quick note to the audience do not drink battery acid ever, even if it has an egg in it. It's not good. But, you know, this guy's an adventure, an adventure game character, so he'll be fine. Makes you have energy drink. I mean, probably fine to drink, right? I crafted you a protein shake energy drink combo. Drink up, Weedling. You mean put an ancient rotten egg in some battery acid? No way am I drinking that. Oh, come on. You're aware that Mario eats poisonous mushrooms to go massive, right? Come on, think of England. All right. Up G, uh, up G plus plus. An arcane potion has given the mysterious ability of speed. I can leak longer distances and outrun moderately fast enemies. Delicious. Really? No. <laughs> but I have now acquired the ancient mystical art of running. It should come in handy. Especially as I suspect that in the near future, I will need to be running very quickly to a toilet bowl. Yes. I sleepwalked for a short period in my teens and tried to eat the batteries from my alarm clock. I dreamt that they were chocolate. Wow. That's her That's terrifying. Wait, how do I run? Oh, yeah. I, I should probably use my new running ability. There we go. Yeah, I wonder if I can... Yeah, I can get up there like that. Ow. <laughs> tried to taste the chocolate and failed. Yes. Tash chocolate. Tats chocolate. Tatsy chocolate. There we go. Wow! Look at me go! I'm increasingly sonic y. Hopefully, this will finally leave some fan art. Oh, God. <laughs> Not sure you want Sonic S fan art, dude. Sure, I do. Send it in. What's all this red stuff? It probably kills me. Oh, no! Even my beautiful platform tiles are becoming infested by the apocalypses. Look. Tread carefully. Yep. Ooh, look at this computer. I can push it. Brilliant. Break the computer. Have a play with that, Ben. I don't know tech stuff. You know those the computer based diddly what's it? You more mate, I'm a man of action now. Standing on pads is as cerebral as I get. Hands are far, far too muscular. Ooh, manual functions damaged. Voice commands only. Oh, phew. Don't worry, Dan, I got this sorted. It's a massive, heavy old computer. Amazing that people used to get on these, get by on these things. When was it made? Uh, 2009? <laughs> right. Well, how does he. I guess I gotta. get Dan to. piggyback him down. I can't use a computer. I'm not some kind of elite keyboard using hacker. I don't understand buttons. Warning, primary URI broken, voice activation mode enabled. Mouse will be easier. I'll use my mouth. Okay, talk to it. Oh jeez, I don't even know where to begin. Oh, 10 for it bums, 20 go to 10. Bums, 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 bums. Oh my god. Look, no, let's not do that. I don't know if it'll actually show me something. Read email. Unread email, zero figures. Help. Function corrupted with external impact with floor from great height. Knackers. Have I only got one option? Fine. Look at pornographic pictures. Visual display impaired. Would you like me to describe breasts to you? Hmm. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> well, that's great. That was really useful. Log off. But it's now safe to switch off your computer. What was the point of that? It even has a floppy drive. It does, yeah. Surprised no one got the text to speech to say bums, 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 bums. And slightly disappointed. 
Oh, he's doing it again. Okay. Uh, what was the point in breaking the computer? I don't know. I guess we'll go back the way we started. Okay. There's nothing here. Hmm. Mostly out of twigs. Okay. <laughs> no worries. That explains it. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. Use inventory? That's not going to work. Putting a guy's hat atop a broken computer won't help solve our current predicament. They've actually written dialogue for every interaction, haven't they? Let's try everything. Uh, yeah. It's all bollocked up and broken. I don't think gifts will help me feel better. Okay, there's a generic one. Uh, read email. It's letting me keep doing that though, so... Huh. How is this computer from 2009 if it has a voice interface that's that... that sophisticated? Quickly go to the computer shop and buy the strategy guide for your PC CD-ROM video game program. Well, there's a store here. <laughs> a size 5 store would be a great place to stock up my premium venture items to help you with some of the game's trickier puzzles. Yeah. I think it's a joke though. Look, they've got like stuff in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a joke. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I am stuck. I am stuck. I am stuck. I'm always stuck. Eesh. Can we just go get. Wait. I didn't even try looking at that. What's this here? Nothing, that's what it is. It's a lift, there are only buttons, yeah. Oh! Criminy, who said that? It is I, a talking lift! Your intellectual and corporeal superior! Talking lift? Uh, okay, talk to it. So what? You're talkable to? My, my! Seems I was too hasty to rubbish your intellectual prowess. Yes, the talking lift is talkable to. Go nuts. Uh, take us down, please. Are you maintenance? Oh, what, like a janitor? Uh, yes, yes I am. Take me down so I can clean up, please. Password? Good manners cost nothing? Incorrect. Uh, reset password, please. Password reset. Replacement password sent to local inbox. Okay. Thank you ever so much. Terribly kind of you. Unbelievable. <laughs> Right, now it makes sense. So that's bad security though, they shouldn't send you a password, they should send you uh, a link to reset your password. Because if they can send you your password, then they have it stored unhashed in their database, which means it can be hacked. So, bad. But it's an adventure game, so it's fine. Read email. I guess it wasn't one reflection by the serious suck in Edits Corporation, yeah. Your password has been reset. Your new password is lifts are the best. Hmm. Gens. Oh, this is gonna sting. Uh, yep. Log off. Anyone can ask anyone else's password. Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize I could talk to Lyft this whole time. Take us down. Password. Ha! <laughs> Lifts are the best. Grumble. Apparently. Ha ha! Alright, fine, and you come. I'll take you down. Cool. Here we go. Good luck, idiots. <laughs> Thanks! Okay. I'll say this. It does its cinematic sequences really well. That's really cool. size of that thing. Incredible. I remember buying a sketchy photocopied strategy guide for Zed for a buck back in the 90s. Some dude just done typed it and sold 50 bad photocopies to the old nerd shop. Oh my god. It's amazing. Wow. I think we're safe from the apocalypse is down here for now. This place is rather ominous itself. Let's have a wonder. 
All right, but don't go far. Is it... Yes, Dad. Is this a? Is this a right? Is it a roller coaster? Uh, I think it's. Wait, let me see. Hang on. I think it's. Uh, I can't remember the syntax for the quoting. It should work now. Is it quote add? Let's try quote help. Sorry. No. It's not working. I'm sorry, I thought I'd fix this. Bollocks. <laughs> oh well. I'll try to get it fixed for next time. Add mustard, yes. Uh... Locked door. Yeah, open. It's locked, hence the description locked door. Yeah, okay. It seems to be slightly open though. And the right implement might be able to push the access button. Okay, use an implement then. What have we got? Like that? That won't help me leave it open. Uh, that's not gonna work. Let me in! I'm in courage, I work here! Dude, I don't think that door has a random scanner. <laughs> I'll have to resort to something more physical violency. Yay! Okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I could always glitch through the floor. Wait, I can just. I thought I couldn't. Okay. Okay, we can just leave the. Hey! It's a sleeping computer. <laughs> Thank you, Ritu, for the attempt at the quote. I can try to fix it now, but I'm, I'm sure no one wants to see me, see me do that. Oh, look! There's like a chip. <gasps> Ram! What? Hey, you just picked that thing up. What happened to your straight edge, no inventory attitude? Doesn't count. I'm just collecting. Anything floating and shiny, else platform was nabbing. Can't do anything with it, it just disappears off somewhere. Sounds like a Sisyphean nightmare. But fun. Okay, so we have RAM. Oh. Hang on, those computers just powered up. That weird vehicle transfer was activated. The collectible did something after all. As long as it unlocks a new area, that's fine. This doesn't look safe. Time to start crafting items. Looks like DNA code above the elevator door. It does? Interesting. Transfer vehicle. Big underground transfer vehicle. Looks like it's all powered up and ready to go. Can we use it? Well, as an adventurer, I'd say we should blindly jump into this cart and head off into the unknown. Unless that's too old hat for you, Dan? Uh, no, that's pretty standard platform procedure too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Emotes detected. Me mechanics, uh, experience construct loading joy. Goodness. What have we got ourselves into? ATG and C. Oh, yeah, you're right. Ooh. What's happening? Something green. Something green is happening. Joy. Oh, joy. Oh, wow, this looks so fun. Classic straight up platforming action. I'll be in my element. Ugh, looks like hard work. Oh, come on. I'm sure we'll manage to muddle through together. I'll wait here until you need fingers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this looks very platformy. Ben, I need your fingers, please. Okay. There we go. Oh, careful now. Oh, I thought it was going to get squashed. Look! <gasps> miles and miles of beautiful platforming. It's... This is pure joy, alright? And it's even got a sponsorship deal with Unhealthy Food Brand. How delightfully retro. I'll let you know when I need your fingers. I don't see how a load of platforming bollocks is so joyous for me. Oh, something's... Oh, no. Uh-oh. What? Uh, bad thing. Bad thing. Bad thing. Help. Help. Ow! 
Alright, this is more like it. A big room full of Brillo objects and characters for me to interact with. Whatever this construct thing is, it does good joy. Uh oh. We've got a. Uh... Welcome to the platform of reincarnation. Do not jump or wall grab during the decontamination process. Kindly identify yourself, platformer. Hmm? Oh, Benny. Bo bo boing bottom. What? Welcome aboard, Benny. What is happening? Ah! Some sort of gas. Nomosaur. Greetings. Please proceed to the reincarnation gate. And you'll be returned to the correct checkpoint. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? A little disoriented? Perfectly normal. This is the respawn center. Proceed to the reincarnation gate, dispose of any death related items. And you'll be zapped back to the appropriate checkpoint. <laughs> Based on your cause of death. I want to respawn at the end, please. The final checkpoint is just before a Mark III drowning hazard. So if you wanted to respawn there, I guess you'd show symptoms of drowning. Uh, what are the symptoms of drowning? Well, you'd be three things. Oh, wait. Go on. Well, you'd be wet, obviously. Blue, makes sense. And you'd have green seaweed on you. Makes less sense, but okay. Uh, why are you a dinosaur though? Well, this is the afterlife, and we're extinct, which is like a mega dead. So we're a perfect fit, really. Don't think about it too much. Fry your tiny human brain. Can you have a brain the size of a walnut? That's a myth. We're actually 99% brain. That's how we managed to make the respawn systems. We are currently saving your tiny walnut mind. Okay. Uh, okay. They redid the joke from the le first Legit Larry game. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> uh, okay, bye. Have a fun death. Why are we in a respawn center? I thought this was supposed to be pure joy. Wow. Look at these characters. Paintbrush platformer. Hi, I'm uh, Ben Botty Burps. Who are you? Violet. So, fellow platformer, what's your gimmick? My what? Uh, unique power. Oh. Well, depending on what emotion I'm feeling, I turn a certain colour and get an ability. Do I have to look at a sick puppy or whatever? I get sad and I can walk on blue floors. <laughs> that kind of thing. So you're basically a human mood ring. Cool, eh? And if I touch things with my paintbrush, they turn the same colour as me. It's a neat metaphor for how our moods affect those around us. I mean, it sounds kind of cool. I can use the brush to bash things to death. Yeah, okay. There it is. Of course you can. Uh, okay, I need to get her to be blue so she can paint me blue, right? So what are your different moods then? Red is anger, obviously. Orange is joy. Yellow is ennui. Uh, very good. Oh yeah, I just got that. Green is envy. Blue is sadness. Uh, purple is regret. Purple? Come on, what... Who can, t who can tell Indigo and Violet apart? Point. Make her sad. <laughs> oh man, I just remember the way here I saw the saddest puppy. It was by the side of the road. It had this really sad look on its face. Because it had been hit by a lorry. And his guts are splat. Oh, Jesus. It was crying and then it died. Aww. Okay. <clears throat> uh. Okay. Can you paint me now? Bye, V. Bye bye. Uh, touch brush, there we go. Yeah, so gaudy. Feel like a Star Trek alien. Ha! <laughs> I'm sorry, my incredible power is too tacky for you. Brilliant. Look at this guy. I can't talk to this guy. Oops. I don't think I ever played Larry 1, just 5 to 7. It's a special series. Didn't they make a new one a few years ago? I don't know. I, only pl I, I played the first one very briefly and got really annoyed because you walk into an alley and immediately die. And then they do the stupid respawn thing. Fucking Sierra games. What the fuck is this? Hello, my name is whatever, but... Ah! Huh? I just assume because you're anthropomorphized, you'd be able to talk human. Is it wearing a nappy? Okay. Walking cliche. Oh, come on, dude. 
Howdy fellow platformer. I'm, yes, Benito Bunce around or whatever. Who the hell are you supposed to be? I'm Spartacus Spanner. I run around jumping from platform to platform. Fixing leaky pipes, fixing broken droids, that kind of thing. Ah, and that's what the Spanner's for. Oh no, that's for bashing things to death. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, yeah. Bye. It's just kind of, it gets a bit tedious, you know, the, oh, look how edgy we are. We're point poking fun at every other game because they have, like, things in common with other games. Pair of tennis, you can pass as an Andorian, yeah. Uh, I'm ready to learn, oh no, wait, I need to, I need to respawn as a drowning boy. How do I get wet? Don't answer that. <laughs> uh, I can use this, go somewhere. Wait, there's three. No, there's two. Just, just two. there are three. Okay. Let's spice this game up. W W W W W W W W W W W W. Exactly. Thank you for the W's. Looks like a big pipe. Seems to be taking gas down from the decontamination chamber. It's held in place with a big nut. Losing the nut would make it swing downwards to the floor below. Hmm. Okay. Can we do that? Probably not. Not with this stuff. Yeah. Actually, Cyber Sniff 2000. What? Oh yeah. Can I switch back to? Oh, I can. I can just switch back to Dan. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is more fun. Oh, he's collecting things. Look at that. This is good. Hold to run. Yeah. Oh wait. Uh. Oh no, it's a bad thing. Yeah. Jump on the bad thing. Look at the bottles. Do, 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 do. Is this a wait? Is this a river of piss? <laughs> Why is it yellow? Oh, it's the drink. Right, it's the ale. Yeah. Okay. Can we not jump on this balloon? I mean, bubble. Yay, Sanic! Sanic the Mario. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see if we can do it like this. We're gonna need to run and jump. Okay. Oh shit. There we go. Cool. Oh, we're gonna ah no. Oh. Oh, that's where I've gotta respawn, I guess. To to meet uh, as as what's his name? Such a platform game. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's fun. Oh, there we go. Oh no! Oi! <laughs> yeah, what's, uh, Ben was just slowing us down. Look, we can do platforming craziness now. Isn't this fun? Oh, I get it now. The reason we were... Uh, um... We're in the platformers respawn section as Ben is because we died in the platforming world. That makes sense, but it's still not like. I guess it, may, it kind of makes sense. Maybe we have to collect every single one of these stupid things in order to. I think they're kind of poking fun at the Zool thing with the Chupa Chups sponsorship, maybe. Oh wow, okay, zoom out, will we? Let's zoom out a lot. Sonic the Movie, The Hedgehog 2 is also pretty good. I haven't seen the first one. Is it actually good? I, thought, I mean, it doesn't look good, but maybe it is good. It's Jim Carrey, you know, being Jim Carrey. Oh, fuck. Okay. CyberSniff2000 was one of the scratch and sniff pads that came with... Oh, I see. I had no idea. There we go. Ah! No. Oh god, it's making me do this again. This music's kind of annoying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's really a bit obnoxious. Oh! We're not gonna die if we get out here. Okay, that's good. Checkpoint! 
dee dee lee 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 dee annoying music forever. We Yes. Oh. <laughs> Up we go. And down we go. There's a checkpoint. Good. It is nice to run fast. Just a bit sanicky. Oh, damn it. Okay. Ah! That disappeared. Does no matter. Ah! Okay. Damn it. Oh. Makes you want to play Super Frog again. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, I'm here again. Damn it. I want it to be up there. Ah, ah, ah. Bollocks. Okay. Oh, there's a little counter at the top left. I didn't see that. It says 148. I don't lose them all when I. Oh. It's Jim Carrey actually playing Dr. Eggman for once, so I'm just playing Jim Carrey in a Sonic movie. I see. Back in my day, they called him Dr. Robotnik. Okay. Probably have to like collect 200 of them or something. Oh, that didn't help. Oh god damn it, we're back here. Okay, enough of this. I'm gonna do this for a bit, because I'm getting t t tired of that. Gas tank! Oh! <laughs> Decontamination gas. I guess it cleans the particles off the platformers. From all the different goofy places they jump around in. Prints a hundred different gimmicks mixing one place. Yeah. Sucker. Push. Won't be able to shift this until the pipe is loosened. Okay. Hmm. Little dinosaur. Hello. Excuse me, are you the person I need to see about... I don't work here. I'm not a dinosaur, I'm a bloody dragon. Well, same thing, you're all giant lizards. We're completely different. They're extinct and good at office work. And therefore perfectly suited to working in the afterlife administration. I'm fictional, fiery, and incapable of flight. And therefore perfectly suited to platforming. Right, sorry. So if I need anything set on fire, would you... Sort off. <laughs> okay. You can breathe fire, why do you have a torch? I exhale propane, I still need to... Uh, well, what do you expect me to walk around with an open flame in my mouth the whole time? Don't be stupid. Makes sense. Hang on, is that why propane is found in oil then? Because dinosaurs exhale propane and oil is old dead dinosaurs. Firstly, I'm not a bloody dinosaur. Secondly, oil isn't made of dead dinosaurs, don't be stupid. <laughs> what are you this, waiting at this boring looking desk for? I need an item retention permit for my torch. A what? What? Permit for your what? Not an upgrade, alright? When you go through the reincarnation gate, you have to relinquish any causes of death, right? You get killed by a spike, so you drop it off there. That way you come back to life all fresh and new. Thing is, if you get an ability upgrade, you need to keep it. Oh, like if you tied dead animals to your shoes to make you jump higher. Uh, sure. Problem is, the reincarnation gate. Just reading this fire is cause of death, not an ability. I need an item retention permit to let me take it with me, and I've been waiting all forever at this blinking desk for it. That one is more complicated than I thought. Okay. I'll leave you alone. Don't want to let the conversation drag on. Oh, drag on! Funny. Oh, hi. Sentient fluid lick physics. Hey, Jabba. Uh, who? I'm moderately well known platformer Bob the Blob. My power is that I absorb things into my watery guts. Hi, Bob. I'm Ben. My power is an ambivalent disregard for the safety of others. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm okay. Uh, mind if I plunge my head into your belly? I could do with getting all wet, and that seems like a pretty neat tactic. Seems reasonable, but my friend, my natural surface tension levels are pretty high. You'd bounce right off. If you want to get wet, I'd recommend taking a shower. Okay. So how do we break uh, surface tension? Like with the pointy thing? Thank you for being my friend. Oh, Can we use the uh, pipe maybe? It's not soapy enough. Soapy? A boy and his blob for the NES. Why do we need... So oh! 
Yeah, I guess. He's the bladder. I'm not drinking him. God knows where he's been. Okay. There's something inside him. I keep wanting to run now. Soap lowers self esteem. Self tension. Okay. Character processing. I wonder how Dan's getting on. I'm sure he's fine. A sleosaur. What? Is that a real dinosaur? Hi, what's your name? Yo, no, desk. Wait, what? I, I missed. Ruth Lizard. Looking at signs is forbidden. This is a bijou office? It's compact, yes. If you start getting more of your platformers coming through, or to move around. They've moved my desk four times already this year. I told Bell that if they move my desk one more time, they're going to quit. Because you don't have to move from your desk to reach stuff. You have a permit to create silver lining, sir. So, uh, forget it. Okay. Right. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> ah. Yeah, so I need soap. I'm just going to play this again for a bit. Here we go. Do the annoying platforming. Oh, I did it wrong. Okay. These really are just two separate games at this point. You notice how, like, uh, Ben is all like, I wonder how Dan's getting on, and Dan is like, fuck this, I'm doing platforming. I don't give a shit. Fuck Ben. Okay, I haven't got this far before. I'm going to have to avoid those so I don't fly up into the spikes. Oh, a thing I can push. Good. Where's the end of the level, damn it? Oh no! No! Oh. oh! Give me a real checkpoint. Damn it! Screw this. Screw this. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna f uh, finish it here for the day. Uh, I might play this again, or I might do something else next week, I'm not sure. Do you guys want to see more of this, or would you rather I switch to something else? Because uh, we can just make this a first impression rather than a full playthrough. And, uh,. Yeah. New Return to Monkey Island screenshot just dropped. Look at this. Oh, interesting. I might take a look at those. Um, oh, it's happening again. Yeah. Um, but before I go, I do want to uh, share a little update about the, the game I'm working on. Um, not too much to show that's new, but a few new people in today, so uh, be good to show that. But yeah, so give me one second, and I'm going to switch so. over. There's some screenshots for Return to Monkey Island. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to read all this, I just want to see the screenshots. Ooh. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That's not a screenshot. <laughs> That's a screenshot. I like the style. It's pretty. It's it's not nearly as good as pixel art, because nothing is. Oh, hang on a minute. That's uh, Thimbleweed Park. <laughs> And that's the end of Monkey Island 2. <gasps> Look, that's Melly Island! Oh, that's cool! The church is all smashed and boarded up. That's Thimbleweed Park again? Still haven't played that. Nice. Triple A Monkey Island with Open World Crafting, Survival King of the Hill, Ragdoll Physics Dating Simulator. That's exactly what we want, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so there's a big article here. It's linked in the Discord if you want to see it. Feel free to share the link in the chat if you want. Um, yeah, but there's a lot talked about here. So I'll have a proper read of that later. But let's take a look at the game I've been working on. So uh, many of you have seen uh, this, sh this ship already. Uh, let's just do some firing. So this is, for anyone who hasn't seen this before, this is my uh, space combat deck building game. Um... And it's, it's still in the early stages, it's sort of still coming together. And it's uh, a bit like Slay the Spire meets FTL, if you like. Um, so yeah, you can shoot lasers and missiles at things and they shoot back. And uh, the gameplay is a little sort of rudimentary right now, but it's going to get more complicated and interesting. Uh, I'm basically working on getting things to the point where I can have a trailer, so I can put together a... Um, uh, store page stuff so yeah but something that's new that uh, none of you have seen is uh, I've got this little encounter setup thing going now so that I can choose which enemy I want to fight against in this sort of testing version so I'm just calling it a red ship right now so here we go there's the new ship I've been working on 
Uh, you might recognise the back end from uh, a previous stream I did. So I just drew the back part of it and thought, well, that's not enough for a ship. So I put this big thing at the front, and it kind of does look a bit like a D7 uh, or, or or a Katinga class Klingon uh, Klingon warship. But yeah, red rocket. No, no. Oh dear. Yes, that's exactly what I meant. <laughs> so yeah, I've drawn that. Got the uh, the shading going. So if we uh, we've got the shields working as well. So that's quite I'm quite pleased with the shield effects there. If we shoot it enough, we'll start to see holes forming in the hull. But we have to get through the shields first. Nice evolution for it starting on the stream the other day. Thanks, thanks Albionium. And thanks, uh, thanks Casper. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm quite pleased with how it came together. Uh, so this is gonna be a different faction of the uh, uh, than the other one. So they're going to be kind of color coded, so you'll know who you're fighting against. This here is going to be an ion cannon. Right now it's just a, a regular laser that's that's blue. Uh, but an ion cannon is going to disrupt your systems and uh, stuff. Not just do, do damage. So, yeah, come on, let's get through the shield, shall we? A few more double shots should do it. There we go. We're starting to block. There we go. The holes are starting to form. I'm really pleased with this damage effect. I still need to do some more with it, like have some like actual chunks fly out and stuff. But um, yeah. So yeah, not too much else to report. Thank you, Dreddy. Appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, it's just working on it bit by bit. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this stream. I, th I figure I'll just do these uh, quick updates at the end of the streams. Uh, on you know, once I've finished playing a bit. But yeah, I had fun today. It's been uh, it's been cool. Uh, I had chunks fly out after night other after eating a spoiled cup noodle. Oh my god! Need little pixel guys flying out of holes in the ship. Oh my god, that'd be brutal. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for coming everyone, it's been really fun. Uh, it's really good to be get back to the Jim Plays Game streaming, uh, with a little uh, Jim Makes Games cherry on top at the end. I think that's a good uh, a good mix, I'm quite pleased with that. So yeah, I'll be back next Thursday at 4pm BST, and uh, in the meantime, uh, take care, have a lovely evening, afternoon, or whatever it is for you, and I'll see you next time. Bye now! Ha 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 ha!